peace, peace, peace. I'm gonna come out here in the horizons. It's peaceful. It's calm. That's why a lot of beautiful souls come out around 333-444-555. Beautiful souls are in that state where they're laying down and having nice vivid dreams around 10. Rest for about four, four hours, four to five hours. That's it. Well, that's, that's deep when we're talking about activating your 144 strand and beautiful souls that realm add a pure frequency to understand that. In Aquarian season, we are all chosen ones, okay? With us all being chosen ones in Aquarian season, we all have came here to activate being chosen ones to be able to create our own reality. That's what this is about. So, for beautiful souls that aren't at that ascension level to really understand what chosen ones are really about, you, you see it for what it is. You allow it to be as beautiful souls keep ascending up their, their own Jacob's Ladder, you know? So all that adds up when we're talking about we are all chosen ones, the all, the oneness in the all. And, and okay, that's, that's going to bring me back to why I'm making this content. But to literally talk about everyone being chosen ones. And you already know. To the grass. And why we are here. And <laughs> it I used to say it ain't funny. It I have to laugh it off now because when you know your power, you know your self worth, you know who you are. I mean you're going to get beautiful souls that want to come around you and tell you who you are. If you know who you already are, baby. Mm -hmm. Don't remove them instantly. Don't, don't need to be around your time frame. Not this one. Oh, I'll tell you, when you're already up there. Mm-hmm. So this is deep too when I'm talking about beautiful soul. This is young overseers. It's young elders out here. And beautiful souls is out here playing around. I'm talking about doppelgangers. But this one, I'm 313. Ashe, we still going to stay on the topic at hand. When I'm talking about how beautiful souls walking out here, literally being possessed. Some still got their souls. It's just suppressed in there from suppressing childlike trauma, suppressing your shadow work, subconscious program still on autopilot. You know you're a healer, yo. You know you're a healer. You know this is something you have chosen to be. If you're still, okay, Ashe ancestors, Ashe spirit, blasphemy belittling another beautiful soul talking about this talking about that now literally, literally some of them mad it, it just shifted yo ancestors then protected you cloaked you of course they're gonna be mad they can't harness or harvest your energy no more they are no longer in your presence anymore a lot of that too adds up for beautiful souls that say they're healers and are still being possessed by certain energies because they haven't healed certain things on specific timelines and these specific timelines some of them so ancient and the reason they're so ancient is why wizards warlocks draculas whatever has attached vikings knights templars this is deep but we're talking about like gods some gods that have vikings latched on to their energy knowing their life path knowing that this was the test for them to pass and it just be flowing 
it would just be a timeline where and that'd be another reason why you come back as a woman why do you come back as a man what did you do on a karmic timeline that bring you back in this vessel to do these missions or what were you chosen to do like all this adds up ain't no more shit don't shit cold nothing we ain't shit cold nothing we can talk about this are we ready to talk about it? Mm. Let's talk about it. Like, this this is deep. When we talking about beautiful souls out here that have already got a taste of spirituality, being around a healer, now wanting to be a healer, and still would harness and harvest someone's energy, and yet still wondering why they're in specific time loops still going through the same thing over and over and that brings me back Ashe. we'll talk about that too why beautiful souls still don't understand why their abundance is being tampered with were you tampering with someone else's abundance it could be the little small it can be the smallest thing I say little small things like changing an ashtray if it ain't yours don't touch it you a healer. Why are you messing with somebody's stuff anyway? It be the little smallest things. The little smallest things. We ready to talk about it? It's <laughs> all that. And like I said, I put it too. The European version. Uh, how you do spells, curses, hexes, rituals, your ceremonies. We did it with self-love. To evolve within the all. To ascend and align to the kingdoms of other worlds. We didn't do it on each other. And when we did do it on each other, we still was all together in that one circle, aligning. So what that got to do with doing it on somebody else? Yeah, let, let, let's, 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 let's let some elders and overseas, let's let some real chosen ones really talk about this. Hmm? So yeah, it's going to be spiritual haters. Keep speaking your truth. You see it for what it is. And that's another thing. It was, ooh, want me to talk about that too on Facebook. We, we going on so many different timelines and ascending on higher planes. And I'm a whole pure frequency. It's a, I'm a whole pure channel, baby. So when you come in on my Facebook page to send me a friend request, it is just not you sending me a friend request and me just innately accepting it. ones that are literally on my page we have teleported and, and spoken to one another and if you just think you just gonna be on my page and we don't literally teleport and speak won't be much longer that you're on there like, and that's divine I give the space and it's an honor in this life to give the space a lot of beautiful souls to see it for what it is and not what it should be in their vision of who you are so, all that all that add up when we talking about 144 strand the walking messiahs in the flesh when we talking about how these energies is really working in vessels that aren't ready to, and they call it Christ consciousness, that aren't ready to activate their Messiah within, their supreme being activations within. All this, all this add up, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. So like I said, it's, it's an honor to talk about these things so that beautiful souls can really understand where they stand. Hmm. So, yeah, I know it's an honor. Spirit led to uh, talk about this one. And you'll know 
when you're around a beautiful soul that is being possessed is it of love you gonna feel it and chosen ones y'all know we oh you be oh ain't a mosquito inside like it's chilly out right now oh oh the itching no way you're itchy like that's that's another sign that demonic energy is around you in a beautiful soul and it's 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 in there it's and when you look into the eyes of ones that have them and truly in them and there's no control within the soul it shows the little smallest things like when you see another beautiful soul and and, and when they looking at somebody and they're frowning up or just saying so like it, it shows it, it really does <laughs> like I said just being aware awareness is a superpower daydreaming is a superpower you can daydream if you can daydream five to six times out the day what are the visions and are they high vibrational that's another thing when we in a daydream it is a whole vision it is a channel and to be able to go into a deep meditative state while you're daydreaming Ashe, that's that's deep that is a superpower something that and I love to talk about this like all the things we do all day every day most of the things we do are superpowers things that are to be truly activated truly ignited within 1212 Ashe. so all this adds up to who we truly are mm, mm, mm. that's another reason why I love to come out here <laughs> channel because you run with them feathers baby it's going to be birds coming from everywhere different sounds I like to talk about that too when I got the channel message about that. Curses, spells, and hexes. The vibrations, frequencies, and energies that birds give off reflect and dismantle. Curses, spells, and hexes. I say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's law. That's what oneness is about. So, as we keep evolving and we keep ascending on these higher planes and our ancestors are removing the low vibration frequencies and energies of these beautiful souls that don't want to evolve within their own power, would rather manipulate another beautiful soul's power or do spells to tamper with another beautiful soul's power is being dismantled as well a lot of them are reaching demise destruction they're falling because like i said it's about the love it's about the oneness it's about the alignment within self breaking them european paradigms at a rapid rate mm, mm. most of us already have we just still talk about these components because a lot of beautiful time loops because when you think you just gonna harness and harvest somebody's energy baby and it's it's there and we are to speak our truths about it you speaking your truths about it especially when you are here to speak your truths about it that'd be another thing especially with Olo Kuhn yeah, so y'all talk about Papa Olo Kuhn, baby. Mm. Going into the deepest, darkest depths. We're playing. Mm, mm, mm.
would would have the audacity to play with you. Age ain't nothing but a number. I know elders and overseers younger than me. I'm just in my late thirties. It's some um, oh younger than me. Hmm. Out here levitating. I'm trying to tell you about it like this is serious. Go on YouTube, you see little kids. Hmm. Ashe. Pull a whole hand back. Ain't even by the water faucet, but we'll turn it on. Already doing aerokinesis and hydrokinesis already activated chi mm, mm, mm. so yeah we ain't we ain't come here to be playing no games it's 144 strand activated and beautiful souls activating it on their own not tampering with nobody else's energy like this your little cheat sheet And so I've been doing it for a long time, like years, messing with Chosen One's energy for years. Oh, they ain't gonna know. They ain't gonna mind. They ain't, they ain't gonna know. They ain't even, and that, that'd be another reason why they don't want beautiful souls to do tarot reading or they're like, come on now. And honestly, we don't need the cause. The cause is just extra energy to tell the story. Never really needed the cards. It's always a soul contract reader. Always when beautiful souls come in my space, I could just start telling stories just offhand because I can feel the timelines. Always been a vivid dreamer, a visionist. Just literally had to embrace my powers. Why I was so preserved and why beautiful souls come around me of power and then when they get around me, it's just like, ready to belittle me or depower me. I'm like, ancestors, come on, talk to me. What's going on? Because ain't no way these beautiful souls coming around me and they saying that they're healers, but then when they come around me, they're just being possessed. It's not adding up, universe. It's not adding up. Spirit, talk to me. Start seeing it for what it is. When I understood that beautiful healers was coming to me at the test of time, are you going to allow it to be good karma? Are you going to allow it to be bad karma? Giving them the space. It's because you a psychic don't mean you ain't meeting one that's of power too. Just sitting to see if you're ready to align with some oneness, some pure love, and not judge it all. She don't know what she's talking about or all she this. Or some don't even see it for what it truly is. Some have literally been under spells to not say anything, suppress. They're, sh they're literally suppress their throat chakras. A lot of wizards, witches, and warlocks have been suppressing chosen ones' throat chakras to not speak their truths on them harnessing and harvesting their energy for years. A lot of them out here. So yeah, we're speaking about this one because for one, you should be able to harness and harvest your chi. Yo, chi, that ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Now, you know it's real, like, I love that too, when I get to doing my messages. They, they definitely come, especially beautiful souls coming to my video content and think it's just a game. And like I said, doppelgangers are real. Beautiful souls that do spells, curses, and hexes are beautiful souls. This stuff is real. So... Beautiful souls that are cloaked and protected. You're going to get birds coming through your video, especially the ones that think they playing games with chosen ones. So, as these birds are singing as I'm doing my video, 
rod tearing the center. Is all I'm gonna say. So, still stand on the topic at hand, y'all. And being aware of beautiful souls and beautiful souls being possessed. Just flat out. Y'all know what's up, chosen ones. This ain't a game. We came here to work hard and play hard. And that work hard is us embracing our gifts, abilities, and talents within self, our purest abundance, and sharing that with the world, the alignment, the oneness. Hmm. So yeah, and shutting it down, shutting it down. Ancestors said, don't spare them no more. Don't spare them at all. So no. Why spare them when it's, it's messing with your abundance? That'd be another thing. It's literally messing with your abundance. Abundance flows easily and effortlessly. So yeah, y'all already know. Always love. Light. Phenomenal healing. And we're going to dive a little deeper more into it. Just wanted to get out here. This early rising talk about awareness being a superpower y'all already know but during these times and why they talk about a spiritual warfare is just being more aware of how beautiful souls are being possessed how much of their soul is intact you know how much is truly intact and not so fragments everywhere you know like a lot of they got a lot of shadow work it's like all that adds up all that ass are beautiful souls. So y'all already know. Peace.